So I, <laughs> this is what happens. I pull up this quote. I have to get closer to see it. All right, because I don't have it memorized. It is in the knowledge of the genuine condition of our lives that we must draw our strength to live and our reasons for acting. Simone de Beauvoir. So it is in the knowledge of the genuine condition of our lives that we must draw our strength to live and our reasons for acting. So this struck me uh, in the yoga context because at least the way that I approach yoga and the way that I'm offering yoga is as a, especially for this session, is as a moment of pause to observe, pay attention, observe, and acknowledge the genuine condition of your life, how you're actually feeling right now. And I, and I also love this statement, this quote too, because, um, so that's at one level. At the other level, what are the genuine conditions of our lives? The big dominant systems of power and injustice that we face, but so it's got both sides of an interpretation for me. For this group, I want you to turn inward for the next 30 minutes and just acknowledge what you feel. So observe first, pay attention, and then acknowledge whatever it is that you feel. No right or wrong. So it's this breath that takes us through this journey into the present moment. So sitting up tall, just find a deep inhale and a complete and full exhale. Another deep inhale. And another exhale. And bring your, interlace your fingers and bring your palms to your heart space, the spiritual heart center. And continue to breathe, just deep breaths in. Let that chest rise, fill it up. And exhale. Another deep breath in. Exhale with abandon. Like don't even control the exhale. Just take a deep breath in. And then just open your mouth and let it out. We hold so much. Fingers are already crossed. We'll just gently draw the hands away from spiritual heart center. Feel that energy though, your heart center and that connection. And let's just stretch the palms toward the front of the room. Take another inhale as you Reach up and exhale as you bend to one side, just breathing in and out. Good, coming back to center, inhale here and exhale. Oh, I see another old friend has joined with her camera off, good. Inhale to stretch your shoulders back. And release. Good. Let's, I have Mankey here. So let's come on to all fours. So again, our, all we're doing for this hour is finding a little movement, observing how we feel and acknowledging how we feel. 
So in this all fours position, just take a moment. Let's just tap the tops of the feet on the ground and feel that percussive sensation. And now feel, spread your fingers wide. Really stretch those fingers wide and feel the ground beneath your hands. Now ever so slightly, press down through the tops of your feet. We have engaged with the floor. Feel the sensation. We'll breathe a little with cat-cow movements. So as you inhale, you're gonna drop the belly, tilt the tailbone up and look up. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin, push into the floor. Inhale to drop the belly, lift the chin, tilt the tailbone, observe. Exhale, tuck your chin, push into the floor, push into the floor with the tops of your feet. Acknowledge what you feel. Inhale. And exhale. Two more times each way. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. The breath is our portal to the present moment. Inhale to center. Press your hips back to your heels, now off the wrist, but keep pushing into the floor with your arms. Feel the sensation. There's still this energy of contact with the earth from your hands. And as you push into the floor, feel that energy just ride up your arms, down your back, into your hips. We're gonna sit up on our heels, so sit up, Dragging your hands back. Bring your fingertips to the floor, right, just right next to your hips. You may have to lean back a little, but you're up on your fingertips. Lift that chest, roll the shoulders back. Take a breath all the way up into your chest. Exhale, stay here. Spread your toes, press your toenails into the floor, and take another breath up into your chest. And exhale. Good. Come back to neutral spine. We're just going to let the hands rest on our legs. Take your right ear to your right shoulder and take a breath in. As you exhale, roll the chin down across. Come over to the other side. Take a breath in. Exhale through this movement. Take it slow. Observe. Inhale at the side, exhale, nice and slow. Observe the sensations of your body. Inhale at the side, exhale. Inhale, exhale through this movement. Inhale at the side. Last time, exhaling across. Good. Inhale, lift your head up. I'm going to bring this mudra again, crossing the fingers, placing your hands right on heart center, and lift up. Lift your chest up into your hands. You don't need to go any further than this. So hands pressing slightly down into the chest. Chest lifting up into the hands, take a breath. Good. Lower the hips all the way back down, release those hands. We're gonna take that right or left cheek to the floor. Take your right hand to the floor. Lift your left arm up, side stretch. It may feel really awkward, it may feel like we're Stretching in the wrong direction. Lift that arm back up. We're gonna twist to the left now. So right hand comes to the left knee, twisting upright, engage the belly, pull it in. Good. 
Good. Unwind this twist. Shift yourself back to center. Place your right hand back on the floor again. We're going to lift up off the heels and kick that left leg out to the side. Press into the floor with your left foot. Reach with your left arm. Push into the floor with your right arm. Push down into the floor with your right knee, the top of your right foot. Engage. Good. We're going to lower back down, pulling that knee in, lowering the arm, coming back to the heels. All right, interlacing fingers again. Palms to your heart center, spiritual heart. Lift up, lift that chest. Breathe in and out. Good, lower your hips back to heel. Now we're taking the right cheek, actual right cheek this time to the floor. Left hand to the floor, right arm reaches up. A big side body stretch. Good, windmill that right arm back around, and we're twisting to the right, stay upright. Pull in your belly, breathe deeply. Even with the belly pulled in, breathe deeply. Good, unwind, lift yourself back up, to your heels, left hand to the floor now, and we're pushing up, stepping that right foot out to the side, left arm reaches. Now we're basically pressing into the floor with everything that's on the floor. Push, stretch. Good. Lower yourself back down, pull that knee in. And here we are. Crawl forward a little bit to all fours. We're gonna curl the toes under in preparation for downward facing dog. But before we do that, we're gonna take the hands one step forward and then push back. So you're gonna feel the toes stretching. It's almost like a child's pose, but instead of flexion, the spine is extended Extending like a back bend. Keep look, looking up toward the front of your mat. Press into the floor with your hands. Push that floor away. Lift yourself back up. Walk your hands back in underneath your shoulders. And then we'll lift up to downward facing dog. Press your chest back towards your thighs. Let your head hang here. And just like always, don't worry about your legs. Let's make this downward dog about stretching the back. Have you ever watched a dog actually do this pose? They are pushing into the floor with their little arms and stretching their spine. So I've got my knees bent quite a lot. Let's bend the knees quite a lot and now twist. Bring your hips over to the right, sit a little deeper. Feel the floor beneath those hands, the weight shifted. Twist up and over to the other side. Sit a little deeper. Good, twist, come back to center. Now if you want, straighten the legs as much as you can or want. Sending the heels back toward the back of your mat. And now pull your shoulders forward, coming toward plank pose. So a similar shape we're gonna do, you're gonna drop your left knee to the floor and you're gonna spin your right heel down. Pick up your right arm. It's similar to what we did. The base leg is in a different orientation. So before we were like this, now we're like this. Again, press down with everything that's on the floor. 
take this top arm by your ear. Good. We're going to circle this right arm around, coming back toward plank. Your left knee is still on the floor. Let's pick up the right leg. Now we're going to do a little push up here. So you can just bend your elbows a little bit, roll your shoulders back. Right here is a great place to stop. You can also keep going down, 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 maybe getting your chest to the floor. We have all levels here. Push back up. Bring that knee back down. Press back to child's pose. Baby vinyasa, let's inhale up to all four. Exhale to lower your hips, bend your elbows, and roll those shoulders back as you slither down to the floor. Inhale to peel yourself up, cobra and exhale all the way back, child's pose. Good. Lift back up to all fours. And this time, we're right where we wanna be. You're gonna just pick up your left knee, putting that left leg into plank. And then you fold the left heel down, reach the left arm up. Press down through the top of your right foot, down through the left foot, down through the right arm. Reach that left arm up by your ear now. Stretch the whole left side of your body. Good. I like to make a circle, circle the arm. <laughs> Coming back to this plank variation. Our right knee is on the ground. We're gonna pick up the left leg. So this time, we're doing a little baby push-up. Maybe you're just going this far. Honestly, this is harder. Roll your shoulders back with that leg. If you want, you can go all the way down. Push yourself back up. Put that left knee back on the floor. Press back, child's pose. Lift yourself up again, all fours. Exhale to slither down to belly. Turn over onto your back. On your back, extend your legs. And reach your arms up over your head and take a deep breath and activate yourself. Stretch your body long. And exhale to lower your arms. Good. Pick up both knees, hug both knees in. Feel those thighs pressing into your belly. Feel that energetic contact with the earth beneath your back. Now lift up your head and shoulders and curl up even more. Can you get your nose in between your knees? Could you pull your heels down any closer? Just a tight, tight, tight little ball. And then release. Lower your feet to the floor, arms by your side. Separate your feet a little wider than hip distance apart. We're gonna rock those knees left and right. Coming back to our thought for the day that the importance of seeing the genuine conditions of our life and that being the place from which we can take authentic action from our inner strength. Let both knees rest over to the right. You cannot know the genuine conditions unless you stop and pause. 
pay attention, observe, and acknowledge. What you discover is just information. But you will discover something. And then you have the choices to do something with that information. Can you acknowledge whatever it is you're feeling? First, you gotta notice. Lift up your knees, let your knees fall over to the other side. Acknowledging what you're feeling it really isn't a problem for every person. Some people are very well connected to that. Some people are more connected to their thoughts acknowledging what they're thinking. Some people are more in tune to the physicality of their awareness. And these are all ways of knowing. Knowing fully the genuine conditions of your life. Lift up your knees. And take Shavasana in this constructive rest position with your feet a little wider so the knees just fall together. Or you can extend your legs the length of your mat for traditional Shavasana arms by your side, a little bit away from your body and palms facing up. Close your eyes. Feel that wave of, wave after wave of pulsing energy just from this short period of time, movement, focus and effort. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth and let it all out with a big sigh. <sighs> Relax all the muscles of your face. Relax your jaw and your tongue. Relax your bones and just let everything go.
Become aware again of your breath. Begin to deepen your breath. Feeling your chest and belly rise and fall. Begin to make small movements, wiggling your fingers and toes. Gently bend your elbows and knees and roll to your right side. Feel the floor beneath you and with conscious awareness, use your hands pressed into the floor to push yourself back up to seated. Just close practice, bringing the palms together or taking this mudra one more time. Either way. And thank you all for taking this time to just to be and be together in community. Thank you so much. Namaste.